Okay, you guys, this is obviously the teacher. Obviously, episode four. So, um, oh, shout out to everybody that, you know, watches my videos. I know I say the end down there every video, but you guys crack me up. You guys are fucking hilarious. Um, all right. This is Mia, you guys. I can't believe this is my room. It's almost twice as big as my room back home. Oh, I need to check out. I need to check that stereo out. Oh, yeah. Best stereo ever. <laughs> Um, excuse me. Oh, shit, girl. Oh, hi, Kylie. I didn't hear you come in. I was just testing out the... I could tell. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Um, it's good to see you again. Let's go. I love your dress. I love your dress. Thanks, my, my mom got it for me last week. You're gonna be fine, Kylie. I'm sure of it. I've never been without my mom for more than a week. Now she'll be gone for a year. Can I share something personal with you, Kylie? Um, sure. I was really happy your mother chose me to be your nanny. You know why? No. Because I lost my mom when I was five years old. I can really relate to your situation. Mm, it's a little bit, you know... It's a little bit more dramatic, honey. <laughs> I know how terrifying it is to suddenly be without her. Wow, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you lost your mom. Thank you. Your mom told me that you just turned 13, so you're a teenager now, huh? Yeah, it's weird. Mom said I'll be experience. I will experience a lot of changes in my body these next few years. I'm kind of scared, actually. I understand it's challenging to be a teenager. I'm still a teenager myself, but you don't have to be afraid. It's all very normal. Every woman goes through these changes. They're like my lips. They're like fucking stuck. <laughs> and don't ever hesitate to ask me if you have any questions, okay? Thank you. I was a bit afraid that I would have to ask my brother about these things. I'm sure he would have done his best to give you a good answer. But I honestly don't think guys are best to talk when it um, are best to talk to when it comes to girl problems. I think you're right. Mia, right? Exactly. Well, thanks, Mia. I guess you're not so bad after all. Hair flip girl. <laughs> Sweet kid. I think we'll get along. I think I need to send Kelly a text. She needs to know who I'm living with now. Hey, Kels, you there? Open. Yeah, what's up? Um, let's tease little Kel, Kel, little big girl. I have some news that might interest you. Okay, spill. About a certain good-looking teacher. Wink. Are you serious? What are you waiting for? Tell me. Are you sure you can handle it? <laughs> no, not at all. But you need to tell me immediately as in yesterday. Come on. Okay, then. You know how Kylie, the girl, I got uh, hired to babysit? Yeah. Well, apparently she's got an older brother who just moved in town. To teach at Woodstock High. Shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah, Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, gee, you know, girl, I'm right, I'm right with your ass, Kelly. <laughs> Are you serious? Yep, and guess who's living with me and Kylie? <laughs> that is not fair. <laughs> She's so dramatic. I love it. Oh, 
Why am I never that lucky? I'm going to say um, lucky isn't the word I use to describe the situation, girl. It's pretty weird and awkward, actually. Because they won't let me say what I want to say, you know, and, you know, get her some, uh, you know, cutty, y'all, shit. <laughs> well, I bet all the girls at school would kill to be you right now. So what's your plan? Are you going to take advantage of the situation? I mean, since your relationship is going to be more of a roommate situation than a forbidden teacher-student, well, student-teacher relationship. Hmm, what do you say, devil? Should I take advantage of the situation? Um, oh, yes. I guess there's no harm in flirting a bit with him, is there? No harm at all, but still, be careful, me, yeah. I will. I don't want to lose my job, and I'm, and I definitely don't want him to lose his either. I don't know anything about him. He's probably got a girlfriend, and why would he be interested in me anyway? There's a lot of reasons why he'd be interested in you, Mia. Thanks, Kelly. Anyway, I gotta go. I think I'll go check on Kylie. You do that, Mama Mia. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. He let her go. It was funny though, girl. <laughs> she called you Mama Mia. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> I walked into the kitchen looking for Kylie, but instead I found Miss Collins and a woman with platinum blonde hair talking loudly in the kitchen. Who's that? She was the kind of girl that could make almost any girl feel insecure about themselves. She was gorgeous. She had nice hair and a killer body. She looked like a model. But her way of presenting herself left me thinking her profession was something, well, less glamorous than that of a model's. Let's put it that way. A bitch like she work at the grocery store, y'all. <laughs> well, I guess I better find out who she is. Hi, Miss Collins. Hi, Mia. Have you met Cassie yet? I'm surprised she didn't say nothing about the bitch calling on Miss Collins because she always <laughs> I'm clearing her fucking throat and shit. <laughs> no, I haven't had this pleasure. Hi, I'm Cassie. Hi, I'm Mia the Nanny. I see you're starting to get used to your new title. Yes, definitely. I actually, I was actually looking for Kylie. Have you seen her? She's outside in the garden. Okay, good. I just wanted to go wanted to check on her. Very well. Anyway, Mia Cassie is our new uh, maid. She'll take care of the cleaning while I'm gone. Oh. oh shit. I thought you had enough on your hands with both Kylie and school. I wasn't sure of how to feel about this. It was very thoughtful of Miss Collins, but I actually had hoped to have Kylie and, well, Mr. Collins a bit to myself. I don't know. I guess I'm just feeling a bit threatened by her looks. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you, Ellie. Thank you. You're welcome, dear. Oh, well, I better get back. I better go pack the last of my things. There are not many hours until tomorrow, unfortunately. Poor Ellie. Not only does she have uh, to leave Kylie for many months, the reason why she's leaving must be equally as painful. So the nanny, huh? And the maid, huh? I'm lucky I got this job, to be honest. I only wanted it because of Daryl. I'm so in love with him. A few years. I, oh, I was so in love with him a few years ago. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I lived across the street from the Collins. And I was devastated when I heard my future husband moved out. <laughs> Girl, not your fucking future husband, child. So, my parents told me about the Collins situation and Daryl was back. I knew I got my second chance. I immediately asked Miss Collins if I could be of any help. Um... 
why do your parents know my damn business? Well, know her his damn business. Now that I have to wait for now, I have to wait for Daryl to come home from his run. I bet he can't recognize me. Can't even recognize me. I lost quite a few pounds for him. Quite a few pounds for him. <laughs> you lost weight for him? <laughs> yes. Just in case he come back to Woodstock someday. I've made my mission to marry that. I made it my mission to marry that guy. So don't get in my face. Wait, don't get in my way, baby face. Girl, let me tell you something, baby doll. <sighs> Be nice. Okay. I guess my um, wish about having Mr. Collins to myself is out of the picture now. Girl, what are you doing here? Girl, you're supposed to be looking for goddamn Cassie. <laughs> I bet you can tell I lost a, a, a lot of weight too, huh? Right? Yeah, you look great, Cassie. I don't say anything. Ah, Miss Rose, come over here for a second. What, what do you want, girl? Hey, Mr. Collins. <laughs> Have you met Cassie? Yeah, we've met. Me and I gonna be best friends. I'm not so sure about that girl. Highly doubt it, bitch. Good. He looked at a brow and smiled over at me. Maybe he already knew about Cassie's hidden agenda. Anyway, I need to uh take I need to go take a shower, ladies. See you later. Listen, you little brat. Okay, hold on, bitch. Hold on, wait, bitch. Who you got on the right, girl? I see the way you look at him. Let's go. I wasn't. Wow. Easy. I wasn't looking at him like that. Don't lie to me. I'm not stupid. He's mine and you're going to stay away from him. Got it? Girl. Hold on, girl. Well, I guess I made my first friend in the house. Girl, you should have punched that bitch. I'm sorry. At work or not, girl. Who the fuck is you talking to, child? First day success successfully completed. When he had one bruise, he goes today. Cassie, obviously, but no fires or cautionary or casualties. Sorry. Um. So, all in all, I think I've done a good job. Come in. Oh, girl. Hey. Hey, Mr. Collins. I was just wanted to check on you. Is everything okay? I'll contain your blushing, Mia. That's very thoughtful of you. And yes, everything's perfect. Good to hear. I'm sorry about Cassie today. She come off. She can come off as a little, a fucking desperate girl. I mean, uh, I would have said aggressive, but I see where you're coming from. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't mean to be assumptions. <laughs> I don't know her well enough to say that. Um. Don't worry about it. I know she can be a little intimidating. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty... Uh, but it's probably only because she considers you a threat. What? You know about her feelings for you? I've known for years. Why do you think I moved? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's a nice girl. But yes, I know about her feelings for me. I'm actually talking about feelings with my teacher. I look down to the floor trying to hide my burning red cheeks. Anyway, I'll let you get to bed. Good night, Miss Rose. Good night, Mr. Collins. Oh, and I almost forgot. Um, do you want to accompany Allie, well, accompany Kylie, Allie, and I to the airport tomorrow? I would love to. Thank you for asking me. Sure, we're leaving at 8. <laughs> Girl, bye. We live in the 8 a.m. Good night, Miss Rose. I'd have been like, oh, child. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Girl. I didn't know y'all was leaving that early, girl. Mm -mm. Good night, Mr. Collins. The car ride to the airport was silent and uncomfortable. Poor Kylie was obviously trying to 
was obviously fighting to hold back her tears. As soon as Miss Collins was about to board, she couldn't hold it anymore and broke down. That's an unusual teenager. <laughs> I guess then this is... Oh. I forgot. I don't know what the fuck I was about to even say. I'll be home as fast as I can. Don't you worry about that. You'll be fine. You just go and take care of Grandma for all, all of us. I, I'll i miss you, Mom. Oh, sweetie, I'll miss you more. Daryl, can I talk to you for a minute? Of course. It's going to be okay, Kylie. I know you and Kylie have never been that close, but... I mean, Daryl, but I need you to promise me something. Anything. Promise me you'll take care of her. Promise me you'll help me and do the same. Don't, don't let her out of your sight unless she's with somebody else. Mom, don't do this to me. I've learned from my mistakes. Well, what the fuck happened before, y'all? I know, I know. I'm sorry. Wait, did he have another sibling that died because he wasn't watching him or something? What the fuck? What the fuck going on, y'all? I won't let anything bad happen to her. You need to trust me now more than ever. I do trust you. I love you, Daryl. I love you too, Mom. Take care and make sure you tell Grandma we love her, okay? I will. Excuse me. I'll hold her hand for you. Not hold her hand for you. <laughs> um, I'll, uh, will you submit me over here? I need to talk to her as well. Oh, well. Miss Rose, Ellie would like to talk to you as well. Why didn't you just say my mom, fucking weirdo? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Ellie? Me, I just wanted to say that I'm counting on you and that I think I made the right decision hiring you. Please don't prove me wrong. You can count on me, Miss Collins. Um, that's the spirit. <laughs> and Daryl can be a bit, well, distant sometimes. I told him to take care of Kylie, but I know he'll have a hard time doing so. Why? Why Why is it hard for him? It's complicated. Maybe someday he'll tell you why himself. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that if he's distancing himself from Kylie, don't be too hard on him, okay? He has his reasons. Okay, I'll remember that. And one more thing. Daryl has his tendencies. Don't be surprised by his many girlfriends. Many girlfriends, yes. He practically finds a new one every week. He didn't strike me as a... He's not a player or someone who doesn't respect women, Mia. He's just, well, he's a bit lost. I just wanted to warn you. Also because I don't want you to get hurt and leave Kylie. This Collins, he's my teacher. I wouldn't... I know he is, dear, but he's a good-looking guy, and I don't know you very well. Oh, girl, what the fuck you trying to say, girl? <laughs> but right from the start, you struck me as a mature and responsible person, so I trust you be professional. Of course, Kylie needs... Kylie needs are my priority. I won't let you down, Miss Collins. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I keep forgetting. Make me proud, Mia. And don't forget to send me pictures. Take care, Allie. Kylie? I'm going to miss you, little duck. Not a little damn duck. I'm gonna miss you too, Mom. Oh. Not she a damn duck, baby. Be good and be strong, my dear. Time will go by faster than you expect. You can always call me too. Okay?
Oh, okay, be safe, mom. Every time somebody going somewhere, they gotta give these big sentimental ass speeches to everybody. God damn, come on now, just get your ass on the plane, girl. Bye. Shit. Passport, please. Bye, kids. Take care, Ellie. We'll miss you. I love you, mom. They looking like a little family over there. Hey, turn up. Hey. Oh, damn. Little Susan and ran away, y'all. Kylie. Let her go. She needs some time. He took a he took a last glance out of out on his mother who was waving at us as she entered the plane. I took a step closer to him. I felt like I need to try to connect with him on this. I understand how she must be feeling. Oh really? Have you have your mother oh wait, have your mother left you for a year? Have your mother left you for a year? Mm. His mood went instantly cold and unapproachable. Whoa, no, she. Then I don't think you understand. Hold on, bitch. <clears throat> I know you're my teacher and now my boss, but when you talk to me like that, I can't respect you. That's not the. I'm not finished, girl. How do you even dare assuming you know me? What? That don't even make no fucking sense, child. Okay, my mother died when I was five years old. She left me for good. She's never coming back like your mom is. Mia, his tone softened. I could see him swallowing. <laughs> his eyes were regretful, but I didn't care. Assuming you know someone when you don't, it's not fair. But this particular assumption hurt me. <clears throat> I didn't feel ready to tell him about my mother, and he forced me to do so in order to defend myself. What is the point in letting him get to know me if he's already made up his mind about me? Yeah, you could have avoided this if you actually cared to get to know me, instead of making assumptions on my behalf. You're right, I shouldn't. I'm so sorry. It doesn't matter. At least now I know that at least now I know I don't have to try and get to know you. You're not interested in that. It's fine. We've established a line of personal interaction. I'll leave you alone. No, Mia. That's Miss Rose to you, Mr. Collins. Now let's find Kylie. Bitch. Yes. Girl, you better have boss bitched out on him. That actually hurt like hell. Not only because... I got the impression that he was a very, well, that he was a smart guy and he just proved me wrong. Hell no. But mostly because I was reminded about the fact that my mother will never come back. I guess that's a fact every person who's lost their parents has a hard time realizing. I'll give Mr. Collins the benefit of the doubt. I'm not going to abandon Kylie because of him. Alright y'all. Alright y'all, child. That was that was yeah, okay, that was good. I didn't cut this ass out. I'm good. Let's go to the next one, you guys.